Just like any other project, I'm starting with a basic form. I do have some reference photos, but I don't show them because of copyright issues. Whenever I'm overstretching the mesh, I'm remeshing it using R for voxel size and Ctrl R to remesh. Marking the arms area and inverting the mask using Ctrl I. Then I'm using the snake hook brush to pull out the mesh. Adding a sphere for the eyes and moving it in edit mode so the origin stays center. And then adding a mirror modifier. Now I'm adding some lights to the scene so I can see how it looks like in render view. For the eyes I'm creating two materials and assigning in edit mode different faces to different materials. For the body I'm just creating a basic grey material for now. Moving on to the nose. Again, I do have screenshots from the movie as reference photos so I can see how everything looks from different angles. Unfortunately I can't show it because of copyright issues. For texture painting, I need to have a UV map. So now I'm selecting edge loops and marking them as seams for UV unwrapping. Pressing A, right click and unwrap. For texture painting, I'm adding an image texture and color picking the character's colors from the reference photo. Later on, I will use the same image for the character's fur colors. Now I'm using the mask brush again to affect the arms only, disabling the X symmetry and using the pose brush to rotate the arms separately. The fingers or fingernails are a pretty simple shape. Duplicating and slightly changing the size and rotation of the fingers. Adding a basic color material and linking the object material using Ctrl L. For the mustache I'm starting with a cylinder and using a mirror modifier after I finish one side. The umbrella is a bit tricky, starting with a sphere of 8 segments and 8 rings, deleting the bottom half and leaving only one eighth of the object.
Using an empty to control the offset of the array modifier of the umbrella and rotating the empty on the Z axis at 45 degrees. Adding a subdivision modifier as well, shade smooth and increasing the mean bevel weight for the outer edges. Using the same method and same empty for the steel rods. For the handle, I'm starting with the torus. Using grid fill for the caps. This is the same object, but I'm assigning different materials to different parts. To create the leaf, I'm using a circle and filling it using grid fill. Adding a subdivision and a solidify modifier. Trying to create a drop shape just like Totoro has in the movie. Moving on to the environment for now and creating a subdivided plane as the ground. With the displacement modifier I'm giving the ground some bumpiness. For the ground texture and all the vegetation, I'm using Geoscatter add-on. Choosing each plant separately and distributing it using the add-on in manual mode.
adding a camera to the scene and positioning it as in the reference photo. Adding a few big trees for the background. Setting up a light similar to the scene in the movie. With the Blender hair system, creating fur or hair is pretty convenient and effective once you get the hang of it. After setting up a general idea of this character's hair, I'm creating a hair material and plugging the character's color image to the PSDF so I'm getting the same color for his hair. The noise didn't work out for me so I've added frizz and clump modifiers. Create the rain, I'm using a plane that has a raindrops image with a transparent background as a texture. The plane has three identical faces so I can have it seamless on one axis and then I could animate it. making sure it's covering the entire frame now you can see that thanks to the seamless texture I can animate it on the y-axis If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any future videos. Thanks for watching!